Hi everyone, I am Dr. Michelle Eckler, Supervisor of Technology for Teaching and Learning with the Waterbury Public Schools. And today I am going to be sharing with you some of the cool, either new or revised features from uh, Google Chrome that I think you will find very useful in your everyday work in Google Chrome. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is how you can quickly and easily share links with yourself or share links with other people. Um, it's a pretty simple process and it's always been relatively easy, but Google has just made it even easier for us. So let's say I'm just going to go into um, any site. I'm going to go to the Waterbury Public Schools website. And if you want to share it with people, you're going to click on this little um, arrow icon right here. So let's click on that and I'll show you all the options that you have. So you can actually copy this link. Now we can all highlight and copy and paste, but this will directly copy it to your clipboard. And then if you were to open up any old um, document, like if I wanted to, if I, let's say I wanted to paste it into my browser, I can do that. It would bring that up for me. I can also get a QR code for it. So it's actually pretty cool because now you have that QR code directly for that website. You don't have to go to a QR code generator. Google automatically does that for you now. Uh, you can cast this. So if you have screencasting software, so let's say you're using Google Chrome on an iPad and you have um, either like an Amazon Fire TV at home or you have an Apple TV or something like that and you want to screencast this onto that page, you can click that right there. Um, those are some of the easiest ways to do it. Uh, if you have linked devices, so let's say you're functioning on a, a Chrome system and you have a Google Chrome phone and then you also have a Chromebook, you would have an option show up here that would say send to devices and you can actually send this particular web page to all of the devices on that logged into that same account. Um, that generally will work with Apple devices as well. If you have, say, a MacBook and an iPhone and an iPad, that link will pop up there as well. You can also share these links to various social medias. Obviously, you know within the school district some of these social medias are blocked, um, but you could go ahead and share them if you were, say, on your personal computer. Uh, it's a quick and easy way to share a link to something with other people instead of having to go through the effort of copying and pasting it and then sending it over uh, into another document. Now, another thing you may have noticed when you first logged into uh, Google Chrome is you might see this um, screen that says who is using Chrome. If you don't, I'm going to also show you how to add a profile to Chrome, but this is a really cool way to be able to separate accounts. So I have a lot of accounts here in Waterbury, for example. I have my main account, but then I have some Google Trainer accounts that I have through Google. I have my supervisor accounts. Um, so there's a couple of different accounts here. Some people like to have their personal account on their computer in case they need to access it to say, uh, grab a file that you sent to yourself um, or that you might've been working on at home. This is an easy way to keep those different. Um, so what you have here are different um, Chrome profiles. So I'm gonna go into my Waterbury one. You can see this is a managed Chrome profile because it has this little logo on it and that I've been logged into it recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And yes, I have a nerdy start page I will put together uh, information on how to create a start page for yourself at another time, but this is my little uh, landing page that I've created that gets to all the things that I use on a regular basis. Um, but in order to add a profile, if you're not on that first page, you're going to click on your photo up in the top and then you click add. And what that'll do is have you sign into a new account. Um, so if you're going to, let's say you wanted to sign into your personal Gmail account, you can go ahead and do that here. And then what happens is once you have done that and you open up Chrome on your computer, you will now see all your, of your different Chrome profiles. This is great for when you're logging into some of our programs here at work um, and you don't wanna have that account clashing situation where it's trying to pull in your personal Gmail account. I see people all the time have that problem. 
Um, having these separate profiles makes it very obvious to you that you know which account you are in at that time. Now, the other really awesome feature that has recently been updated in Google Chrome is the ability to restore a tab that you accidentally closed. Now, I am um, one of those people who doesn't like to have a lot of tabs open in my screen. I'm constantly closing them, um, and sometimes I accidentally mess up and close one that I didn't mean to. Um, if you're one of those people that has so many tabs across the top of your screen, they're teeny tiny, it's very easy to accidentally close one that you didn't want to close. But it's really easy to restore that, and I'm going to show you how. So let's say I have these two tabs. I have the Waterbury Public Schools email, um, website up and I have my PowerSchool Performance Matters Help Desk open. And I didn't want to close the website and I accidentally close it. And now I just have one um, tab open. You can go up here where this little plus sign is and right click it. And now you can click Reopen Closed Tab. And what's that going, what that's going to do is bring back that most recent tab that you accidentally closed. Now, obviously, if you're closing out a whole bunch at once and you accidentally click three or four you don't want to close, it's not going to recover all of them, but it will recover the most recent one. Um, so that's going to be a great way for you to make sure that you're restoring things that you may have lost. Um, quick and simple uh, way to, to recover things. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out to me, but I hope this overview of some of the new Google Chrome features will be useful to you.